Yo, yo, what's up? You're tuning in to another edition of King Smog's Hip Hop Blogathon. Now, what would you do if the crew that put you on started hating on you? On one hand, they played a major role in making you famous. On the other hand, your level of fame outweighs theirs, and they are making moves to tear down your empire. Now, that is exactly what happened with former Treyway member Al Sean Martin. About a week ago, week ago, week ago, he released a diss record towards his former label buddy, Shoddy, who, of course, is 6 ix co-defendant in his racketeering case. Now, it's about time some of these Treyway guys start to actually put out some music. Uh, hint, hint, Billy Otto. Um, yeah, anyways, um, so it, it's pretty hot. You know, so uh, obviously, you know, Alshon Martin has been going at Shoddy for, um, you know, getting him uh, taken off of streaming platforms. Alshon himself said on the gram that Shoddy is quote-unquote doing ho shit. And if Shoddy doesn't want to be part of his movement, he sure as hell isn't going to hold on to him. What the fuck, man? Apparently, Mr. Martin is going independent, citing a label named Goob. Bono. Now, there is no doubt in my mind that Mr. Martin is indeed going independent, considering only he probably knows what the word Goobano means. Around the same time the disc record dropped, he got on Instagram Live and said, You know what? Fuck Treyway. I got their chain, and you know what? I'm gonna sell it. It's for sale. And he ended up selling his chain for 10 racks. A mere 10 racks. I wonder if he made money on that or lost money on it or just broke even. But the bottom line is he did sell it for $10,000 to Bosco 100. Now clearly it was time for Mr. Martin to part ways with Treyway anyways. Since he clicked up with them, he has been taking nothing but heat from fans and industry folk considering he is a crip and Treyway is a blood organization according to him it was just music and he was still down for his set in fact according to alshon martin he was their pass on the west coast and shoddy and six nine even paid him and his posse to protect him while they were out there i'm sure that pass in reality only lasted so long and applied to certain people and got revoked completely as six nine continued his trolling spree and you know who could give two fucks well mr billy otto could give two fucks because according to the official treyway spokesperson and candidate for clout chaser of the year wow Al already <laughs> fuck alshon was indeed Never Treyway. Yet Mr. Otto also claims Shoddy got the boot and 6 ix Treyway claims were never rooted in truth to begin with. What I stand firm in believing is this. There is the record label Treyway and Treyway the gang. Whenever that type of element exists in record labels, there's always major drama and inevitable beef, and it appears to be a recipe for quick downfall and destruction. The fact that Shoddy claimed it was the new death row seals my point entirely. Now, in Mr. Alshon Martin's defense, death row itself consisted of bloods and crips, and that didn't cause any issues. However, today we live in a much different world with the prevalence of social media and the internet in general. Never again will there be another death row because never again will there be another year's 1995 through 1997. I for one believe Alshon's allegations. Billy Otto also claimed that Shoddy had his Instagram deleted behind bars. Now, considering these two individuals don't even like each other, it's safe to assume that they aren't in clout chasing cahoots or scheming together to make Shoddy look bad. I mean, the guy's already in jail looking at life for an array of serious criminal acts on a federal level. Now, here is the king's point of primary pollution. It's entirely obvious Shoddy is still exercising the same mentality on the inside that he embraced on the street. His vengeful actions behind bars towards individuals he doesn't like show that not only has he come close to not changing for the better, he doesn't wish to even front like he has. Which brings me to this conclusion. 
He knows the evidence against him is plentiful, and he is most likely going to get washed up anyway. So he might as well continue to flex the little power he has left against the few individuals he has, or should I say had, power over. With Alshon separating himself from Treyway, endorsing his newfound Gubano label, he has prevented Shoddy from taking shot, 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 shots at him from the inside. Now that's all I have today, Smoggers. Like, comment, and please shoot your boy a sub already, man.